Now Jay and I are going to walk you through a guided practice of how to do the core optimization stabilization. We both have our nine core region stand widths. It is imperative that you use this and the placement of your feet is uh, very important. So Jay, let's go to, we're going to go one through nine. Okay. I'm going to show you, we're going to start on one. <clears throat> Palms out, shoulders rolled forward, and we're going to go into a, a spine angle, forward, and a deep breath. Now we're going to stand tall, shoulders are still rolled forward, deep breath. Now we pinch the shoulder blades together, deep breath. Now we add spine angle in the back, deep breath. So we're going to do those four exercises like that in all nine regions. So if you're using your uh, plank strip at home, we're going to go to number two and palms out, add knee flex, bend forward, stand tall, keep the shoulders rolled forward, pinch the shoulder blades together. And spine angle back. That's number two. Now we're going to go to number three. And palms out, bend forward, deep breath. Stand tall, shoulders rolled forward. Pants the shoulder blades together. And lean back. Now we're going to go to number four, palms out, forward bend, deep breath, keeping the shoulders rolled forward, stand tall, shoulders rolled forward, deep breath. Now we reverse, pinch the shoulder blades together, deep breath, and now back bend, deep breath. And now we go to five. Palms out. And forward. Deep breath. Palms out still. Roll the shoulders forward. Standing tall. Deep breath. Now we pinch the shoulder blades together. Leaving the shoulder blades where they are. We simply bend back. Deep breath, holding that same position. Now we go to six. Palms out, forward bend, deep breath. Stand tall, deep breath. Roll the shoulder blades back, pinch, deep breath. Now add back bend, deep breath. And now we go to seven. Palms out, forward bend. Deep breath. Stand tall. Shoulders are still forward. Now we pinch the shoulder blades together. And then we have back bend. And eight. And forward. Deep breath. Keeping the shoulder blades rolled forward. Stand tall. Deep breath. Now we pinch the shoulder blades together. Deep breath. Hold that shoulder blade position and then back bend. Deep breath. And now we go to the last one, number nine. Palms out, forward bend, deep breath. Stand tall, shoulders rolled forward, deep breath. Pinch the shoulder blades together, deep breath. Back bend, deep breath. Okay, and if you do that 
two to three days in a row, it'll last 12 to 24 hours. Jay, anything you want to add? <laughs> no, I just want to golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, you notice as we stand here, if we were to put our thumbs on our hips, you can see how level our, our hips are and how level our shoulders are. So check yourself in a mirror. So if you, you go to the gym, I put the bar on Jay's hips. And Jay, if you just, I'll tell you what, let me move this in line with the camera. Okay. So they can see that your hips are absolutely square. So, so no matter where Jay goes now, his hips are going to be absolutely square. You'll find yours would have been rotated uh, before the exercise, after the exercise, shoulders are level, hips are square. So Jay, if you just take uh, your right foot and put it on the other side of that strip. And look straight ahead. So if you're doing lunges, Jay can, Jay's taking a short step, but you can see how square his hips remain here. And if you take a step back with the right foot, and you'll see too, his hips are absolutely square. So if you're riding a bike, you're running, um, whatever you're doing, your ability to move vertically, horizontally, <clears throat> rotationally uh, is going to change dramatically. And if you have hip pain, Back pain, this is, uh, and it's all soft tissue related, this is going to be a great uh, test for you.